Hey, me again. So lately I've been into this game called Wasteland Warfare. I love Fallout, so it's a natural fit for me. Today I thought we'd go over the Deathclaw miniature together. I'll show you how I build it and paint it. I don't do anything fancy or anything, but if you've never done it before, it might be a good starting off point. Let's get started. First step is to clean it up and get it off the sprue. There are mold lines as well as thin resin pieces that need to come off. I'm usually pretty bad at finding these until after I've already put paint on it. All right, here's all our pieces. Time for step two. So since it's resin, you'll usually have a release agent on it, which means when you go to paint it, the paint will rub off. Washing it off in soapy water fixes it. Time to put it together. Normally with a mini you would use plastic glue, but resin minis I found work a lot better with super glue. Now for some reason I had a really bad seam line on the neck, but that works out because I'll show how I fix that. Right here's the stuff, it's two part epoxy, you just need equal parts of A and B. Then you mix it together and put it in the seam line. It's basically the same thing as green stuff, if you know what that is. And after a couple hours, it gets really hard. Just need to glue him to his base now. Alright, cool. That's all built. Now it's time to paint him. We're just painting him like a normal Deathclaw today, none of the fancy variations or anything. Let's go prime him. This is what I use to prime things. I like it because it's cheap, not necessarily because it's the best or anything. Okay, that one I'm pretty good. I can see I missed some old lines, but no big deal. To start off, we're gonna use some Xandri dust on the stomach. We follow that up with storm vermin fur on the back, which is kind of the same color gray, but slightly dirtier looking. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. Here's a side by side comparison. You can kind of see the difference. Next I use dryad bark on his back spikes and horns. I use Screaming Skull for his claws and teeth. The 
as well as the concrete on his base. I went over his horns and back spikes with wildwood contrast because I didn't think it was dark enough. Using Xandri dust again on his vase. Then I applied rat skin flesh to his tongue. And black to the tire on his base. And we're done with the base coat. Next step is when it really comes together. We're gonna to apply a wash over the whole thing to bring out all the shadows. And then after that, we're gonna dry brush the highlights on top of it. Here we go. So what you wanna do here is just drench this thing in Agrax. That's incredible. Clear coat is awful. It's not mad at all. All right, I think that about does it. I think this video is gonna serve as kind of a basic guideline going forward. I'll refer back to it when talking about the basic steps in the building process. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.